Hello, friends. Invasive wild boars seriously affect farms and ecosystems in almost all countries. Dealing with them isn't difficult. However, countermeasures are almost ineffective once implemented. <laughs> So how to take the most effective measures to deal with wild boars? Here is the video, everyone. Please, if you're feeling that excitement, subscribe, like, and share this video with all of your friends so that you can watch it and enjoy it as well. Wild pigs in the United States are renowned for their distinctive movement habits, creating a unique natural activity scene in their living environment. A wild pig herd ranging from a few individuals to dozens typically moves together to provide mutual protection against predators and to effectively forage for food. This behavior is particularly prominent during nightmare when the risk of predation is lower. Wild pigs exhibit remarkable agility and speed in their movements, capable of reaching speeds of 25 miles per hour, facilitating their escape from potential threats. Notably, their excellent swimming ability is also a crucial aspect of their overall mobility. The ability to root effectively is a valuable tool in a wild pig's foraging toolkit. Using their teeth and hooves, they can dig and prick apart their food sources, showcasing ingenuity and acquiring nutrients from a distance. It is worth nothing that these distinctive characteristics not only contribute to the survival of wild pigs, but also supports their thriving in natural environments. The cohesion within the herd, agile movement capabilities, and dietary adaptabilities are crucial factors, marking the success of wild pigs in adapting to various living environments. And in effect to solve this problem, the wild boar trap game changer from the IPC company Muddy Ruckus has become a real game changer in the field of hunting. With its large size and smart design, this trap not only enhances the ability to catch wild boars, but also brings amazing efficiency. The most important part of the trap game changer is the main trap part. With a square steel frame measuring at least 6.56 square feet, that ensures that trapped wild boars will be kept safe without posing a threat to the user. Drone locking latches are a particularly important point, creating a safe, an effective system. The bait part of the trap, placed in the center, is the key point that attracts wild boars. Flexibility in bait selection is a deciding factor in the success of the trap. Users should choose foods that wild boars like, such as corn, wheat, or fruits. Strategically placed bait will increase your chances of catching wild boars. When deploying game changer traps, trap placement is important. Traps are often placed in places where wild boars often pass, such as on trails near food sources as well. Thereby, we can see the intelligence in combining trap design and trapping strategy to optimize the ability to catch wild boars. Regular inspections are an important part of ensuring that the traps are still operating properly and that feral pigs are captured safely. 
Due to its large size, periodic inspection becomes even more important to avoid unwanted problems. At night is the time when wild boars are most active. So you have to check these traps and the evening to harvest wild boars herds as soon as possible. The link between intelligent design, trapping strategy, and effectiveness in capturing wild boar. The Game Changer Trap is truly an important step forward, reshaping the way we face the challenge of controlling wild boars in the wild. When the trap area no longer shows signs of wild boars, quickly move the trap to another area. The trap will be partially disassembled and the parts moved onto the transport vehicle. The vehicle will move to other areas to increase the success rate. After choosing a good location, we will install the trap right before dark. Do you believe that a trap set in this area will catch wild boars? Wait patiently overnight and the results will be surprising. This is the number of wild boars they caught. Impressive! This is one of their new designs to increase the effectiveness of wild boar trapping. The trap has four main doors. When activated, the doors will collapse, creating a large space for harvesting wild boars. This is the type of composite design trap, marking a new innovation in the testing process. These wild boars will be harvested through the passage between the two traps, taking advantage of their flexibility in movement. However, although this is a significant improvement, it poses a major problem in terms of coast and the type of installation terrain. Deployment across a variety of terrains can require significant effort and funding. This may not be possible in all environments, but we promise to keep you updated as soon as possible about this trap and developments in testing. This helps maintain transparency and assists the hunting community in understanding the advantages and limitations of new technology. Setting traps near food sources to catch wild boars isn't only an effective strategy, but also a skillful combination of knowledge about wild boar survival habits and creativity and the art of hunting. This is based on a deep understanding of the nutritional habits of wild boars, an intelligent and sophisticated omnivore wild boars. As mentioned, have the habit of hunting at night and looking for food from many different sources. Foods ranging from plants, fruits, vegetables, to grains and small animals such as mice, frogs, are their favorite choices. Placing traps near these food sources helps creating favorable conditions for attracting wild boars and causing them to accidentally trigger the traps. as well as requiring a deep understanding of the natural cuisine that wild boars prefer. Placing traps and locations out of sight of wild boars is an important step to increase your chances of catching them, because they often keep the habit of protecting themselves and hiding when eating. Using the right bait is an art. If you choose food that wild boars like, your chances of catching a pig will be higher. Consideration of placing the trap at the appropriate height to avoid situations where wild boars can jump over the trap is an important technical aspect. There are many types of traps used in catching wild pigs near food sources, including traps, spike traps, and bait traps. The snap trap is simple but effective, with a quick snap mechanism when activated by the pig. 
Spike traps cause injury and are placed on commonly traveled trails. While the bait traps use food combined with toxic substances to create an independent effect, However, it is equally important to ensure the safety of people in pits. Not placing traps in locations that pose a risk to people or livestock. And following all local regulations regarding the use of wild boar traps is an important step as well. Finally, in the hunting process, setting traps is only a part humane and handling of captured wild boars is a decisive factor in the overall success of the hunt. We need to remember that respect for nature and animals is key to maintaining balance and harmony in the environment. And the real question still remains. Now let's continue watching more of this video to get to know exactly why. Feral hogs are not only a pest to crops in the United States, but also pose significant challenges to the agricultural industry. They not only affect wheat fields, but also spread fear in cattle growing areas. Data from the United States Department of Agriculture, referred to as the USDA, shows that in 2022, Feral pigs cause significant damage by digging up about 1.2 million acres of wheat, equivalent to about 1.8% of the area nationwide wheat. These figures highlight a serious problem and need attention from the farming community and industry experts. Damages are estimated to reach about $1.5 billion in 2022 alone, highlighting the importance of dealing with this problem. This poses challenges for farmers as well as relevant authorities and organizations, requiring cooperation to find effective solutions to control and minimize the negative impacts of wild boars on the agriculture U.S. industry. In addition, the feral swine situation in the United States poses significant challenges in maintaining environmental balance. Their encroachment on unharvested crop fields can lead to reduced farmers' profits and affect food supplies. Additionally, their uncontrolled movement can create negative impacts on crops and natural landscapes. To address this problem, wild boar management programs are implemented to control their numbers and minimize their impact on the environment and the agriculture sector. This is an important part of efforts to protect rural landscapes and maintain the prosperity of farmer habitats. Faced with this, many people and the U.S. government have come up with solutions to deal with wild boars. The government has issued licenses to those learning about the trapping method and encouraged farmers to practice this method. Normally, an average-sized wild boar trap cage costs about $500 to $1,000. Larger trap cages that can hold more wild boars will definitely cost more. Wild boar trap cages are made of many different materials including steel, wire mesh, and composite materials.
Once completed, trap cages will be placed in areas frequented by wild boars. In agriculture and hunting in the United States, steel trap cages are often favored due to their durability and high resistance to wild boar attacks. The cage trapping method is quite simple, and I recommend that you give it a try. However, in order for your bait to attract more wild boars, there are some important details you need to keep in mind. One of the effective tactics is to mix bait corn with honey, a method proven to attract wild boars from afar. It is essential to mix in enough honey to not only maintain attractiveness, but also to ensure the effectiveness of the trap. After setting your trap overnight, come back the next day, and you will discover many interesting things during your hunt. In addition to cage traps, traps are often used by a group of an organization setting up these traps require several people to install it together. You can also install them alone if you are proficient. Food to attract wild boars is also placed inside the center of the trap. When it gets dark, wild boars begin to forage for food. They often follow in groups at night. Food in the trap will attract them and bring the whole herd in. The hatch system will connect the server at home. Just start the hatch button. The door system will operate. When the new day begins, it is possible to drive to harvest, according to a report by the United States Department of Agriculture. The number of wild pigs trapped in the United States in 2022 is about 1.7 million. This number has increased by about 10% compared to 2021. After being harvested, wild boars not only goes through washing, but also has to face the process of removing the skin and processing it, which is not an easy task. Processing wild boars sometimes become a challenge for workers, because if not done properly, it can lead to wasting a large amount of precious meat. Each step in the process requires skills, experience, and highly specialized knowledge from the practitioner. There are many ways to prepare wild boar meat. The wild boar will first be iced overnight. Freezing it will help preventing the bacteria from the wild boar meat to grow, after which the carcass can be divided into different pieces and smoked. In addition, wild boar's meat can be separated from the lean meat, mixed with some other spices and packed in sealed bags before giving to others. For the surrounding people, you can cook it directly and give it as a gift. According to a report by the United States Department of Agriculture, Wild boar meat production in the United States in 2022 is about 1.5 million tons.
This output has increased by about 5% compared to 2021. So the real question is, would you like to participate in organizations like these? Let us know how you feel about harvesting wild boar's meat and sharing it with the poor. Thank you for watching this video until here so far. And for now, allow me to let you continue watching the rest of the video. Let's keep watching. The Australian wild goat, originating from Africa, is a mammal with an average size of about 100 to 150 centimeter in length and weighing 20 to 30 kilograms. Wild goats are omnivorous. They like to eat grass, leaves, fruits, and many other plants. However, the invasion of wild goats in Australia has caused significant negative impacts on the environment. First of all, their ability to eat everything pose a major problem in terms of vegetation destruction. Wild goats not only eat grass, but also native plants, leading to the environmental degradation and loss of biodiversity. In addition, competition with native animals is also an important issue. Wild goats compete with them for food and shelter, which can lead to significant declines in the numbers and diversity of native animals. Not only that, but wild goats also have the potential to transmit diseases faced with these challenges Farmers in Australia have taken countermeasures by capturing wild goats to raise. Additionally, to deal with this challenge, the Australian government has introduced a series of hunting measures to control the size of the population. Government statistics shows that every day, Australian farmers conduct about 100 wild goat hunts. Although a decrease of about 20% in wild goat numbers has been recorded, a high stable population still exists, posing a challenge to the environmental balance. Every year, Australian farmers destroy about 2 million wild goats. However, the number of wild goats remains high, about 20 million, a clear indication that current hunting methods are not effective at all. For hunting measures to be more effective, close coordination between the government, farmers and relevant organizations is needed. The government needs to have policies to support farmers in hunting wild goats, such as providing modern and effective hunting tools, training hunting skills for farmers and supporting farmers in hunting. Collecting and treatment of wild goat carcasses, farmers need to be fully equipped with knowledge and skills about hunting to ensure safety for themselves and the environment. Relevant organizations need to participate in monitoring wild goat hunting to ensure hunting is carried out legally and effectively. At the same time, researching and applying new methods is also an important tool to improve the effectiveness of control measures and minimize unwanted negative impacts. By taking advantage of the innovative use of bows and arrows, Australian farmers have established a unique strategy 
that is specially effective in mountainous areas where wild goats often encroach and cause environmental damage. In addition to being an ancient weapon, the bow and arrow has become a tool that brings high precision, helping to minimize negative impacts on the environment. Every day, hunters can harvest five to 10 wild goats, making an important contribution to controlling the number of invasive wild goats. This stabilization not only reduces damage to vegetation, but also limits competition with native animals and reduces the risk of diseases transmission. When archery hunting was introduced, Australia recorded an approximately 20% reduction in wild goat numbers, an encroaching achievement in efforts to control invasive wild goats. This is not only the result of the choice of hunting tools, but also the effectiveness of intelligent management and environmental protection. Consuming wild goat's meat is both an effective and a sustainable way to deal with wild goats in Australia. Wild goat meat is of high quality and can be processed into many delicious dishes. Consuming wild goat meat will help solve the problem of overabundance of wild goat meat, while also creating a source of income for farmers and related organizations. According to the study by the University of New South Wales, Australia, consuming wild goat meat can help reduce the number of wild goats in Australia by about 20%. This study shows that as more wild goat meat is consumed, the price of wild goat meat will decrease, making wild goat hunting more attractive to farmers. So this will lead to an increase in the number of wild goats being hunted and destroyed. According to a report by the Australian Environmental Management Agency, EPA, in 2022, Australia will consume about 10,000 tons of wild goat meat, equivalent to about 22 million pounds. This number has doubled compared to 2012 the increase in wild goat meat consumption has helped create jobs for about 5,000 hunters. These hunters are usually farmers or local people. They earn income from hunting and selling wild goat meat. Income from wild goat meat consumption is estimated at $100 million per year. This money is used to support wild goat control activities as well as environmental conservation programs. Hunting feral hogs with bows and arrows has become a fun and exciting activity in the US, but requires strict compliance with regulations and permits In many states in the US, people who want to participate in wild boar's hunting season must have a license from environmental management agencies. This helps ensuring that hunting takes place according to regulations and does not harm wild boar's populations. The wild boar hunting season in the US usually takes place from October to January, depending on the geographical region regulations of each state.
During this time, hunters equip their bows, arrows, and necessary equipment, preparing for the hunt that awaits. The number of wild boars allowed to be hunted in the U.S. often depends on each state's regulation. In order to maintain balance in the wild boar population and protect the environment, environmental management agencies set limits on the number of wild boar that can be hunted each season. For example, in the state of California, each hunter can hunt one wild boar during hunting season. However, the data is subject to change and changes from time to time. Some states, such as Texas and Florida, are famous for their diverse and exciting feral hog hunting areas. In these places, people often have the opportunity to hunt wild boars at a fairly high limit. The southern and western states of the United States also have strong traditions of wild boar hunting and attract hunters from all over. But not only regulations on the number of wild pigs, regulations on size and limits between pig breeds are also very important. This helps protect wild boar genetic diversity and maintain natural balance. They must also participate in hunting safety courses to ensure that they understand safety rules and regulations regarding the use of hunting equipment. The U.S. feral hog hunting season runs from October to January to ensure that hunters have a good change of encountering feral hogs during the fall and winter, when they are more frequent and easier to track. The numbers of wild boars allowed to be hunted often varies from a state to another, and managing wild boar populations is an important part of maintaining balance in the wild. With seriousness and responsibility, hunters follow safety regulations when using hunting equipment. This includes inspecting and maintaining hunting equipment. Always keep an equipment secure when not in use. And adhering to distance and direction regulations to ensure no danger to others. Hunting wild boar with hunting equipment in the U.S. isn't only a recreational activity, but also a commitment to comply with relative regulations and procedures, ensuring safety for all and protecting the natural environment and the nature of America. You are approaching a unique aspect of feral hog population control in the United States the setting of net traps to trap feral hogs, this is a popular solution widely applied by groups of people in rural areas where wild boars are present. The main goal of setting traps is to control the numbers of wild boars while protecting the environment and supporting agricultural production. The process of setting up traps is quite simple. Using large nets placed in strategic locations where wild boars often operate. Usually, trap nets are placed on paths and trails 
that wild boars often use. When wild boars enter this area and set on the trap net, the net will close and trap them. According to statistics from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, each year about 2 million wild boars are trapped in the U.S. This is an impressive number showing that setting up net traps to trap wild boars is effective in controlling the number of wild boars. Like all solutions, setting net traps also comes with pros and cons. One obvious advantage is that it is effective in controlling wild boar populations, especially when their numbers increase significantly. In addition, setting net traps costs less than some other measures. The question here is, why do wild boars move to urban areas? Someone said that about 10 years ago, there was a man walking through the forest. He encountered a wild boar in the way and fit it. This action of his opened the door for wild boars to approach the city. Wild boar feeding in the city is happening a lot. Therefore, the first thing is not to feed wild boars. Feeding wild boars in the city is strictly prohibited so that bad things don't happen. In addition, houses and areas where people live should build fences to prevent wild boars from entering people's houses. This man told us about wild boars appearing around his house. The travel in search of food, causing destruction to the surrounding environment. He immediately bought materials to build a fence around the house. This fence can not only prevent wild boars from entering, it can also prevent many other species from attacking his house. Simply using wood to make them, the price is quite cheap compared to some other types of fences. Besides limiting wild boars' intrusions, this wooden fence also carries a series of other benefits. First of all, using wood as the main material helps minimizing the impact on the environment, such as using materials as metal or plastic. It also promotes the regeneration of wood trees, helping to protect forests and meet environmental protection goals. Not only that, the flexibility of wooden fences also allows for easy replacement and maintenance when needed. This means saving time and money in maintaining infrastructure. Keeping dogs in the family isn't only a safety measure for your home and security, but also a form of creating a special bond between humans and your pets. Dogs are always loyal companions, always ready to protect and care for their families. Taking your dog for a walk and even not only creates a good opportunity to relax and enjoy natural spaces, but is also especially useful and protecting against wild boar attacks.
Do you have the ability to be alert and to take the presence of wild boars before you, allowing you to take timely preventative measures? Furthermore, do you also demonstrate patience and concern for you when wild boars approach your home area? They will bravely face this threat and will not hesitate to chase them away, protecting your space from encroachment by wild creatures. In some areas of the city, many people raise wild boars as pets, they feed them milk and family foods. Moreover, they also let them rest and live in their house, and sometimes this could be a little dangerous for the family. They are species that live in herds. If they are unlucky, they will smell the characteristic scent of pigs in your house and come towards you. Although it may feel very familiar to raise wild boars and treat them like family members, remember that they are wild and their nature is still in them. In a moment, they can turn into a dangerous threat, especially when they feel hungry or excited by the smell of food. Keeping wild boars indoors isn't only dangerous, but can also disrupt the harmony of their environment and affect their naturalness. Therefore, wild boars should not be raised under any circumstances. If wild boars appear around your area, immediately report them to the police the police will come and deal with this dangerous threat. Someone told us one day that a very large wild boar appeared in the park and they took over the sand as their resting area. The surrounding people were very scared and called the police. They came and solved the problem. They chased them away from residential areas, ensuring people's safety. This clearly shows the importance of maintaining cooperation with authorities. The police are always ready to respond to dangerous situations, protecting the community from unforeseen threats. However, warning and creating information about the appearance of wild boars also plays an important role. When we work together, we have the ability to create safer environments for everyone. The encroachment of wild boars into cities is largely due to humans. You need to be very careful when handling household waste. Do not throw trash in such public places. As they will attract wild boars and wild boars will pollute the area immediately. Do not go alone in areas where wild boars often appear. It is very dangerous for you. If there are any measures that I haven't mentioned, please comment them down below in the comment section to let us know. And for now, let's continue watching the rest of the video. The wild boar. It is an animal that is said to be raised and entered by the European settlers in the 16th century.
Initially, they raised wild boars for food to meet their culinary needs of people from other countries. But over time, some wild boars escaped and sought a natural life in the American forests and rivers. Wild boars' intelligent adaptations have helped them survive in the American environment. They have learned to find food and live in these forests. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which was referred to as the EPA, from the 1982 to 2023, the number of wild pigs in the country has increased from 1 million to more than 9 million. Notably, this number is increasing rapidly, with an animal growth rate of about 10%, a clear example of the species' customization and survival. A sudden increase in wild boar numbers could compete with native wildlife for food sources and cause ecological imbalance. However, this also creates new opportunities for hunting enthusiasts and helps the economic of many rural communities. The wild boar, it is an animal that currently lives in the 49 U.S. states, except for Hawaii. They often appear in rural and forested areas, showing strong adaptation to the living environment in America. Wild boars actually cause serious problems. First, they are omnivorous, and this means that they can harm the habitat of other species. This not only causes a significant imbalance in the ecosystem, but also causes farmers and growers to face great challenges. Furthermore, wild boars have the ability to transmit diseases. They can be victors for infectious diseases, such as anthrax, African swine fever that threatens the life and health of both humans and wildlife. The adaptability of wild boars and their ability to transmit disease poses a major challenge, especially in protecting the environment and ensuring public health. Wild boars, in addition to causing loss to the habitat, also bring serious economic and safety problems to the people. Wild boars have truly become food thieves for the agricultural industry. Not only do they steal food from farmers, but they can also cause significant damage to valuable crops. Statistics shows that feral pigs create up to $1.7 billion in animal losses for the American agricultural industry. This causes unnecessary economic losses to communities and local governments. In addition, wild boars have the ability to destroy infrastructure such as roads and drainage systems, adding significant pressure on budgets and urban development.
they are capable of attacking humans, especially when they feel threatened. Statistics shows that each year, an average of about 200 people are attacked by wild boars in the U.S. This possesses extremely serious issues about community safety. Wild boars are animals that are wild and has the ability to reproduce quickly. A female wild boar can reproduce twice a year, each time carrying from 4 to 12 cups. This has led to a rapid increase in wild boar populations, creating great pressure to control them. The most common method of controlling wild boar numbers in the U.S. today is hunting. However, it must be admitted that this measure has only limited effectiveness due to the rapid reproduction ability of wild boars. Every year, hunters in the U.S. catch about 2 million wild boars. However, wild boar numbers continue to increase and this is a challenge for the environmental community. To increase the effectiveness of hunting measures, interventions from authorities is needed. This includes stricter regulation of hunting activities. These measures may relate to time, place, and method of hunting. This is to ensure that hunting does not cause unwanted impacts on wild boar populations and the natural environment. There is no need to find additional and more effective control measures such as searching ways to reduce the reproductive rate of wild boars or promoting wild boar population monitoring programs to catch the problem early. Controlling the wild boar population in the United States faces significant challenges due to the rapid reproduction rate Although hunting is popular, this has only limited effectiveness and needs to be improved through strict regulations. A shocking incident occurred in 2021 when a herd of wild boars invaded a corn farm in Kentucky. This was an attack that not only caused extensive damage to the farm but also posed a serious problem in terms of management and control of the wild boar population. The feral pigs devastated more than 200 acres of corn, causing approximately $2 million in property damage. Literally all the corn fields were destroyed by wild boars. They destroy crops by digging into the soil, eating plants, and trampling on remaining plants. The large holes in the ground they dug caused serious destruction, and a large amount of corn was consumed. On a national scale, damage caused by wild boars to agriculture is estimated to amount to billions of dollars each year. According to the U.S. Natural Resources Services Administration, in 2022, this damage has reached an estimated figure of $2.5 billion, an alarming figure.
Wild boars have become a major threat to agriculture and require cooperation between governments, regulation agencies, and farmers to find effective solutions to control wild boar populations and minimize losses that are pretty harmful. Field hunting of feral hogs is an important method of controlling feral hog populations in the United States. Wild boars are often attracted to corn and wheat fields, as they often form large herds, creating favorable conditions for jam lovers. However, to ensure safety and efficiency in wild boar hunting, it is necessary to comply with rules and quality measures. According to estimates by the U.S. Natural Resources Services Administration, about one million feral hogs are hunted in the field in the United States each year, representing a significant portion of the total wild hog population hunted in the field. This country points to the importance of wild boar hunting in controlling their populations. There are about 2 million wild boar hunters in the United States, and a large portion of them are Americans. This shows the popularity and interest in feral pig control. However, to ensure safety and effectiveness in hunting, hunters need to follow some rules and take specific measures. Hunting wild boar in the field requires the use of highly accurate guns to ensure accuracy and target shooting and avoid endangering people or other animals. Using hunting dogs to search for wild boars in bushes and tall grass is also an important measure. Hunting wild boars during the day helps to see the target more clearly and increases safety in identifying targets to shoot. At the same time, hunting in groups is also an important measure. By having a team organized in the field, hunters can maximize visibility, detection, and ensure safety during the hunt. Hunting as a team in the field offers many benefits. It increases the likelihood of wild boar sighting by sharing responsibility and covering more areas. Hunters also have the ability to coordinate actions to increase their chances of spotting wild boars and reduce the risk of injuries. However, when hunting in teams in the field, it is necessary to follow safety rules and communicate clearly. This ensures that everyone in the squad always knows each other's location, uses calls or signals to communicate, and never fires when they're unsure of their targets. Additionally, being careful when moving around the hunting area is important to ensure the safety of everyone in the team. Wild boars hunting in the United States is a popular and an important activity in controlling wild boars populations, which are harmful to agriculture and the environment. Wild boars often gather in large herds and live in dense forest environments, creating favorable conditions for hunters When participating in wild boar hunting activities in the forest, hunters often use a number of different methods. The most common method is using hunting gears.
hunting tools can provide long range and high accuracy. However, safety regulations should be followed when using them. Wild boar's hunting time is also an important factor. Wild boars are usually active at night, so hunting during the day is a good choice. However, hunting at night can also be more dangerous, so it is necessary to use appropriate safety equipment such as infrared lighting, Hunting wild boars in groups in the forest has many advantages by sharing responsibilities. Hunters can cover more areas and increase their chances of fighting wild boars. Hunting wild boars in the forest is an effective method to control the wild boar's population and protect the environment. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below, plus don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.